The biggest thing we see are that companies are using advertising where they're enticing customers with really low rates. And we want to remind people that old adage is really true. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So if someone's offering duct cleaning services for $49, $99, and they're telling you they're going to clean up to 16 vents, that really is not a, a reasonable price. It should be much higher than that. Some of the tactics we've seen will be in an ad, it may say that the company's offering a free mold test. And that's a way to start talking about molding your home and then they might show a test where it looks like you have mold, but if you don't have them show you the test before they do it, then you don't really know whether or not it was already used and, and it's just a false test for you. Also, be careful about someone who comes to clean your air ducts and then tells you that they found a lot of mold and that it's very dangerous and that you need to remediate it immediately because now the price goes from maybe $99.95 to hundreds or thousands of dollars. We really encourage people to do their homework before they hire a company to clean their ducts and that includes checking Better Business Bureau's website with the company's name to see if there's been a report, what kind of rating they have, whether or not there's been complaints, and if so, if the company has addressed them, whether or not there's advertising issues. We also encourage them to check with NACA to see if the company is a member of that organization as well. And you can also check with family and friends, see if they have companies they've used they've been pleased with, get references. Just keep in mind, no matter what you're doing, that if this company is using questionable advertising, especially low pricing, it could definitely be a sign of a bait and switch attempt. Well, I think the key th thing that NACA and BBB want to do together is make sure that people are educated. Um, in many cases, when we've both worked with national media, we found that you didn't know you were being duped because it was only when a hidden camera was in place that you saw whether or not a technician actually did their job. So it's very difficult. So we want to make sure that we're working to help people ed uh, keep educated on the signs of a scam, um, but also to work with other entities like the advertising agencies or law enforcement agencies to try to get their help in helping be proactive against these schemes and not help give them the platform to be successful. Well, one of the things that we found when we look at BBB complaints is that there's only a few bad apples in the industry that are really making a bad name when it comes to bait and switch scams. Overall, most companies, if they had complaints, it was very few. Uh, we had uh, over 2,300 complaints, I think, over three years, and of those, 34 companies made up half of those, even though we know that there's hundreds of companies offering services. So that's why it's important to do your homework and check out the companies and be able to decipher the good from the bad because there is usually a, a, something out there that's going to tell you. If it's not reports from BBB and NACA, look online at reviews and other sites where someone may be sharing their experience and make sure that you feel good about the company that you're thinking about doing business with.